Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Um, today we're going to go over Cyanide Launcher. Um, this uh, launcher is from uh, Brett Rogers who also is the developer of Cyanide ROM. Uh, I'm sure you guys are familiar with that. I've done reviews on it. Uh, it is one of the it's one of the most, if not the most, um, customizable ROM out uh, that I've ever come across. Um, I can remember back when Beanstown 106 used to do, uh, you know, his ROMs for the Note 2, um, and I used to think that those were just the most customizable ROMs ever. And then I ran Cyanide. So. Um, you could imagine what this launcher is going to be like if um, if the developer of Cyanide is working on the launcher. So uh, I've already went to the Play Store and downloaded it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, basically I'm going to go into my app drawer. You guys can see Cyanide Launcher there. I also want you to notice how many things I have in my app drawer. Now I have a uh, Moto 360 watch, so all of my apps for my Moto 360 watch are in my app drawer. Even though I don't use them here. I use them on my watch. They're in my app drawer. So we're going to get to that uh, in a little bit here. But I'm going to go ahead and click on Cyanide Launcher. And what that's going to do, it's going to launch it. Now it's going to ask me if I want to use the default wallpaper. Um, the default wallpaper that comes with this launcher is awesome. Uh, if you guys want to run it, go for it. Uh, I myself, I'm going to stick with the uh, wallpaper that I'm using. So I'm going to click Cancel. Otherwise, you would just click OK. So this is what the launcher looks like. It looks just like the standard uh, launchers that you guys are going to get on like 6 or uh, Pure Nexus um, or any of the other AOSP launchers, uh, even the, sign or the uh, uh, LOS launchers that are out. Um, but what's really cool is when you swipe to the right, this is where you would normally see your Google search, which it's here. Um, so what you first want to do is you want to touch on each one of these items that are glowing. This is going to give you a little preview of how to use this app. So you guys definitely want to do this. So, of course, this says uh, swipe left here to go back to the home screen, okay? Because if you hit the back button, nothing's going to happen. And you can't just swipe from the middle of the page. You have to swipe in this little swipe area down here. And this little area is customizable, okay? Just remember that. So, you click on that. It's going to take you to the next option. It says uh, click here for weather settings uh, and first time setup. So, uh, the next one says this button is going to show the forecast for the next 14 days. And this is... Uh, this button will show you updates uh, for the next 36 hours. Uh, just make sure that you have to have the 14 day setup off and you must have your weather uh, set up first in order for this to work. So, um, Last but not least, is uh, you, this is where you can actually add um, shortcuts. Uh, so if you want to keep your, your home page completely clear of all clutter, no apps, no folders, no nothing. You can put every one of the, your uh, most used apps right in here. And it's very simple to do. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, we're going to go ahead and start with that. Uh, if you click on that, uh, it's going to ask you to, I'm going to click on add. Uh, we're going to get out through my list of apps. My most used apps, the ones I always go to. Uh, I, do set, I do mess with my three minute battery mod a lot. I use AZ Screen Recorder a lot. Um, I'm going to click on Google Camera, Google Chrome, uh, let's see, uh, Gmail, Google Plus, uh, I don't use Hangouts much, I do use my messaging a lot, uh, my Verizon messaging, and uh, Play Store I use a lot, and let's see, XDA, oh, oh I need a File Explorer, and I want my XDA apps, XDA, and YouTube. Click OK. That's going to save all of them, and we're going to click OK again. And now, all your short, all the shortcuts that you picked are now in that shortcut bar. So we're going to get down to the blue bar at the bottom. We're going to swipe left. That's going to take us back to the home screen. All right. Now, uh, in order to get to the app drawer, it's uh, just like on the other launchers. You put your thumb on the uh, on the um, the shortcut area and just swipe up, uh, and that brings up the app drawer again. Uh, this is going to give you um, a heads up on how to use the app door. It says, welcome to the app door. Uh, you want to click there, and this is going to show some settings. Now, you can set up your apps by either, uh, you know, installation order, alphabetical order, your usage order. You know, the more you use them, that those are going to be the way it's set up. Um, and you can also hide apps. Remember, I, I told you about all those apps that I have in there um, that I really don't want showing. I don't use them. So, if you click on hide app, 
Uh, I'm going to go down through here and I'm going to just get rid of all the crap that I don't use. Now, I do use Android uh, Wear, that one app right there, so I'm going to leave that. But all the other ones, they're more um, uh, connect, they're more tied in with the watch itself, so I'm not going to mess with those. Uh, but all my icon apps, um, I don't need two calculators. We're going to get rid of the Google calculator. Um, I, only, I only use uh, the Google camera, so I get rid of the other one. And it's not getting rid of it, it's just hiding it. So I have a more, cl uh, you know, a much cleaner app door. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. I'm going to run down through. I'm going to get rid of uh, all the apps that I don't want to use or hide them. And it will come back and I'll let you see what that looks like. Okay, I just went down through and I clicked on everything that I want to hide. What I'm going to do is go up to the top right hand corner, click on that check mark, and it just re it restarts the uh, uh, the launcher. And now if I swipe up and go into my app drawer, you will notice <laughs> that it hid every one of those apps. So now I have a really clean app drawer with only the apps that uh, that I actually use in there. Now, if I wanted to get back to them, I just have to click on that, uncheck which one I want, or I could just go into settings, go to apps, you know, applications, uh, open it up there and, you know, and do whatever I need in, in there. But it's just a nice feature to have that, uh, that Pixel Launcher, Google Launcher, they just don't have that feature. And I love it. That's one of the things I liked about Nova Launcher. So I like this as well. Now, one thing I don't like is that white background. What can you do about that? Well, what's really cool is you could go back into the app drawer and you could click on the uh, upper right and you could click style if you wanted. And that's going to allow you to stylize the app drawer. So instead of having a white background, uh, I like to have my background clear. So I'm going to slide that bar all the way over and click on that. Now I have a clear background. Um, you could actually adjust your columns and your layout if you want uh, right there. I'm not going to mess with that. Uh, label colors, I like to go with a little brighter color. So we're going to go green. Uh, since I went with a clear background, uh, you can change your label size if you want. Uh, I'm not going to touch any of that. Um, you can adjust your search bar if you want. Uh, right now, the search bar, the search bar background is white, um, and with uh, um, the icons and the text uh, black. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and change that to green. Actually, we're going to go with a an orange uh, icon. And if I can, without there we go, I'm going to go with uh, green uh, uh, text. So, uh, it's going to restart again. I'm going to go ahead and swipe up. And now you guys can see uh, I still have that white search bar. Um, and I have that little orange <laughs> uh, icon there that I changed to orange. And it's now in green. And again, I can change that if I want. I go back into style. Uh, we could change that background to say black. You know, let's just, you know, go with the black. Um, also, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's an area in here where you can just pick a theme. Oh, it, we're going to get to that. It, again, guys, this is really cool. But as you can see now, I just changed that look of it. I could have went with clear if I wanted. All right, now, let's go ahead and um, we're going to go. You guys could actually swipe left and click on uh, the weather icon and set everything up that way. But the easiest and the best way to do this is we're going to swipe back over to here. And what we're going to do is... Uh, from the center of the page, swipe up. It's going to bring up the uh, actual settings to this. Um, you can also get to that by long pressing and then clicking on settings. That'll bring up the same settings. It's just much easier to just swipe up from the uh, uh, from the center. All right. Now I'm not really going to go through all of this um, and you know set my phone up, but I want to go through every one of these and let you guys see what's in them. So first up is going to be your custom content page. These are going to be uh, settings to just, you know, at your general, uh, you know, just your custom settings. Uh, you can go down through here and pick and choose what you want to do. Colors. Again, guys, one of the things that I love about this are the changing, the you know, changing colors. I just hate white, man. I just, I love it dark and I love pop, eye popping uh, contr uh, contrasting colors. So this is going to allow me to do that. If you guys want a different color option, Go to town with it. You know, you do whatever you want to do with it. You could leave it in its stock form if you want it. Uh, next up is going to be desktop. Uh, we pretty much covered that uh, when we were in the uh, when we were in the app drawer. Uh, you guys again can. Uh, um, oh, this is the. I'm sorry. This is the desktop, and you guys can uh, change this around too. Again, all my uh, my my labels. I like to have green. Um, you can actually go with I think a theme on this, if I'm not mistaken. No, that's under general. We'll get to that. Uh, text again, I want text green. 
um and i th bubble color black we'll leave that uh yeah immersive mode uh, i'm gonna leave it alone but you guys can go with full screen if you want uh nav bar you know status bar full i'm just gonna leave it the way it is uh next up is going to be the dock uh, again this is so you can customize the dock and right now if you notice the dock has that cloudy look to it i'm gonna make it actually completely clear and i'll show you what that looks like then so if we go back to our home page now um it just kind of clears it up just a little bit uh, and I just I like it like that so uh, we're gonna go back into settings uh, next up is gonna be your drawer settings um, you guys uh, the background of the drawer again I told you uh, I went with clear you guys can go with whatever you want um, we already went over these settings uh, I showed you that uh, when we were in the app drawer uh, next up is gonna be your folders uh, background color you can go with any color you want uh, you can hide the app names if you want um, text uh, color I'm going to go with the green I just like the green uh, preview color I'm going to keep it black the preview type I like to stack a little better than the preview which is more like a circle ish type of thing um, but again it's your preference you can go with however you like on that um, you have your stroke your uh, your swipe action uh, actions uh, all that uh, next up is going to be general now under the general you have icon packs if you guys want to switch and go to a custom icon pack uh, just like nova launcher uh, you just click on it and scroll through the icon packs that you want and you can pick whatever you want to go with i'm going to leave it the way it is uh stock just for the purpose of the video uh here's where the theme is going to be at you can go with the dark blackout light if you want um then you have uh your backup and restore you can actually back up your settings and then you can click on restore just like a Nova launcher or some of the other launchers out there you can actually make a backup and if you uh, you know you're like me and you flash ROMs two or three times a day uh, and you want to get back to your home screen again and have it all set up the way you like it you can just click restore choose a restore point and go now I think this only backs up um, once and then you click restore and it restores it uh, I'm not hundred percent sure about that guys I've only been using it for about two days now um, but I wanted to get this out so you guys could see it. It's really awesome. Uh, gestures. If you guys are into gestures, this is where you're going to go to set this up. You have uh, your button control, uh, you know, swipe up from the middle, swipe down from the middle. You can set it up. Right now, swipe up from the middle, that opens the launcher settings. Swipe down from the middle is uh, expanded notifications. Uh, and then you have your double tap on screen, uh, or double tap, and that's screen off. You can change that, and you can set it up however you like. Uh, this, uh, this does have security settings. If you guys want to set up a pin or a lock code or something like that, this is going to be where you can set that up at. Um, it has shortcut modes, um, you know, app ops, things like that. Uh, weather. This is going to be where you're going to set the weather up. Uh, I am going to go ahead and, and enable it. Allow. Uh, let's see. Update interval one hour. We're going to go ahead and leave the weather app or the open weather map uh, API key. I'm going to leave that where it's at. Uh, we're going to go with imperial settings and custom location location will be um we're going to throw in the old standby <laughs> lock whoops lock haven pa and let's see and it took it it took it very good so uh, that's working great um now under launcher features all the way at the bottom it tells you this tells me that i'm running version 1.4 um, and you can also set the, the uh, default home screen, which uh, right now I think it's it should be set to cyanide. Yep. Uh, I'm going to click on always. Um, whoops, I want to go back into settings. So up from the center of the screen. And um, this also has a uh, restart launcher. So if you make some settings and it, it doesn't take right away, just click to restart launcher. Uh, what this is going to do is going to just restart the launcher and any kind of settings you put in, it's going to uh, update those settings. Um, and then, of course, there's root access. If you guys uh, are rooted, um, you can click on that. It's going to allow root access. Uh, yes, I want uh, this to have root access. This gives you a couple other features that you can use. Um, and then at the very bottom is the uh, Cyanide Launcher Plagued. Now, this is a paid version. Um, I highly suggest that you guys get it. I already purchased it. Uh, this unlocks a few uh, more features for you. Plus, it you know just lets Brett know you appreciate his work. Um, I already purchased it, so yes, I am going to install it. 
Um, but again, guys, I highly recommend that you guys, uh, you know, uh, get it. I think it's a dollar forty-nine. It's not much. It's well worth it, and it does unlock extra features. So, guys, <laughs> that's Cyanide Launcher. Uh, it's a lot. Um, I, I'm just telling you, I love it. Uh, I think this is going to be my new launcher from now on. Uh, and you guys know me. I love Nova Launcher. It's going to be a tough one. Um, but I still have some other things to do, like change. The, I want the bottom down this area down here to be clear. I don't want it to be that color. And you can change that in settings. Uh, I want to change my icons around. But you can do it with this launcher. So I know it was a long video, guys. But uh, there's a lot to this launcher. I wanted to make sure I was thorough with it. Um, if you liked the video, uh, give it a thumbs up, uh, you know, or, or hit the like button. I want to thank all of my subscribers. Make sure you guys go, that, or go out there, give this thing a try. Uh, if you like it, make sure you yell out, tell Brett, you know, good job, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next one.